market it is on a vulnerable computer infrastructure today. Businesses, hospitals, airlines, government offices, all knocked offline because of a simple software update. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Bob Donaldson. And I'm Jenny Dreisler. The IT crash caused by a CrowdStrike software meltdown caused thousands of flight delays and cancellations. CrowdStrike, a Texas-based cybersecurity company, says the problem arose when it deployed a faulty update to computers running Microsoft Windows. Microsoft said it's been gradually resolving the update and is now monitoring the situation until it's fully resolved. It is a manual process. It actually requires somebody to be at the machine, reboot the machine in a certain environment, take out the update and then restart the machine. So it's not unfortunately a very quick fix. 911 call centers were also disrupted in several states and the impact of that IT outage could also be felt right here in the Hoosier State. CBS 4's Michael Vanskoik explains why cybersecurity experts say there's a lot to learn from this digital frenzy. Mass confusion left airports across the country practically at a standstill Friday morning, including Indianapolis International, where lines of hundreds of passengers stood wondering when and if they'd catch their flights. My wife and I have been here since 4 a.m. So when we walked in, we saw the crowd already, but we like, we just thought it was a lot of people leaving out today. Travelers like Lloyd Wallace quickly learned the gridlock stemmed from one of the worst global IT outages in history. There were a lot of questions like, is this an attack? You know, what did something else happen? And really, it, it was a faulty update. The issue stemmed from a faulty update for Microsoft systems, which Carmel cybersecurity expert Aaron Pritz says had a massive ripple effect. It's like trying to unexplode a bomb, like the damage was already done. The cascading IT issue grounded thousands of flights around the world. It also left banks, hospitals, and even 911 services in disarray. While Microsoft says the underlying bug has been fixed by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike, cybersecurity experts say the impact could be long-lasting for some organizations. Pritz says it should serve as a major learning moment for many businesses and companies. Just plan on, you have no IT systems, what do you do? Start writing stuff down, whiteboard it. Now let's put it into a plan. Now let's practice it. Let's rehearse it. While others in the IT field like Scott Shackelford say there might not be a lot users can do to prepare for these types of issues, there are a few basic preventative measures to consider. Back up the data you really care about, whether that's photos or tax information on an external hard drive and also in the cloud. So you have multiple options, right, in the event of an outage like this. In Indianapolis, Michael Vance Skoik, CBS 4 News.